Hi there, Chris here with another quick tip for you all. In this video, we are going to look at creating an iridescent beetle effect on a model. And so to serve as our example, we're going to use this Eldar Jet Bike Canopy. It could also be applied to a Tyranid Carapace or any other such monster or that has a flat surface that you want to create this uh, iridescent effect on. The model's already been primed black but could just as easily have been primed white. And we're gonna blend Kalidor Sky, Warpstone Glow, Uriel Yellow, and we're gonna use Evil Suns Scarlet. Now these are gonna be quickly applied to the model. You can uh, take more care, but we're just gonna quickly lay these out just so that we can see the effect right away. And as you can see, we're just quickly layering on some of the blue. A little bit of medium will help with the flow of the paint. And then very quickly here, we're using a two brush method and we're just gonna quickly blend the green down into the blue. And essentially we're gonna create a sort of gradient going from blue up to red. It'll have a slight rainbow effect, but often if you look at iridescent beetles, they have the really kind of a rainbow effect on the model. Now this is really essentially a way of imitating the appearance of that iridescent kind of effect. There are paints out there that will create this and will in fact change under lighting conditions and such. And so really this is just to kind of imitate the effect with paint rather than trying to go for a paint that properly does the effect. And as you can see, we're just quickly blending the colors in, a little bit more yellow. Could also use a retarder as well on the canopy surface, just so that everything is blending nice and smooth. Because we are building up to a fairly bright color, again, could have used white primer just to help with the, the brightness, but the colors are blending nicely together as it were on top of this black you just got to build it up just a little bit not too much but just a little bit you see we just quickly work the colors in and again we're just again this is just simply to illustrate the next phase we just looking for that nice kind of color transition in there and really it's the yellow that gives us the most trouble on top of black but it's okay because once we get to our next step, it'll all kind of just disappear. Here I'm just quickly putting some little dots down just to kind of simulate that little beetle effect. And then once it's dry, we're going to move on to our next phase. Some iridescent medium from Liquitex. There are other iridescent mediums out there, but I figured I would give this one a go. This one's a lot of fun. It's fairly thin. Just plop a little bit on the palette. Just take a fairly heavy load on the brush. Could also start it with some thinner in this on this initial layer and build up the effect gradually, but I just really wanted to illustrate how easily this stuff goes onto the model and how well it flows and quickly produces the effect that we're looking for here. As you can see, we're just simply layering it across, drawing it from the back to the nose. And just remember if we're gonna do multiple layers that, you know, you just remember which way your brush strokes are going so that when you apply another layer, you can go in the opposite direction. And as you can see, even with under the first layer of the iridescent medium, how it already begins to have that beetle-like appearance. Really the green kind of really catches it and the blue and green really kind of shows nicely there. And so that's one layer. And then here's another layer. We're going to use a little bit of Vallejo's thinning medium. And again, this works just as well with the paint. Really most acrylic lines will work with each other. And as you can see here, we're just going to go from the top part down to the ed outer edges of the canopy. Just to kind of try and hide some of those brush strokes. Got a little overzealous on the one side there, so we need to camouflage that up just a little bit. And as you see, we could just simply had started this way by applying these layers 
in a very thin fashion. Really kind of just build up these little, the little effect of the, uh, the medium, as it were. But that's it. That's two little layers there. Leave it to dry. And as you can see here, once it's dried, how nice it shimmers in the light. You know, it really doesn't matter that that blending wasn't terribly smooth as it looks pretty sharp as is. It's a lot of fun. Don't be afraid to give it a try. It's easy as that. And thank you for watching the video. Hopefully you found it useful and informative. For the next quick tip video, leave a comment below or question as to what you'd like to see answered in the quick tip series. I do post these videos on a daily basis into Mini Wargaming's vault, as well as other painting tutorials, terrain tutorials. Click the link below to start your seven day trial of Mini Wargaming's vault, where you'll gain access to all sorts of videos, as well as quick tips, terrain and battle reports, and other random assorted funness. And so thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.